Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECMWF extended model for today's second video uh, with a focus on the UK and Ireland. So uh, we're going six weeks out with this. It's going to get us towards the end of October, I think. And uh, I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Let's say that first video today was the 6M upload. We've got weekend forecast and a 10 to 14 day calculator on today. So please like, share, subscribe on the Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for uh, for doing that. And the wider European outlook with the ECX same model is always uh, on a on a uh, Tuesday. So uh, we look at this twice a week. Saturday, we focus on the UK and Ireland. And then we do the wider extended European outlook every Tuesday. Right, so you're going to start off with the week one mean cell pressure anomaly. This takes us uh, through next week, 19th to 26th of September. And also a little bit unsettled again uh, with mean cell pressure anomaly, low pressure in off the Atlantic into western parts of Europe. The 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that, with below average heights across much of northern Europe, but also extending in off the Atlantic to some degree. There is some northern blocking to our north and a ridge of high pressure to the south. The temperature anomaly next week is near normal. The, the cool temperatures that we've got at the moment, they're being pushed off into uh, central and eastern parts of Europe. So we're seeing a bit of a recovery in the temperature anomaly for the UK and Ireland uh, through next week. But it's still a little bit on the cool side, especially the further east you go. And precipitation wise, still a little bit unsettled, not as unsettled as it has been maybe, but nevertheless still slightly above average rainfall, especially so for more western areas. Week two will be the 26th of September to 3rd of October. This one's a little bit mixed as well, low pressure to the north of the country and also extending down through the east uh, as well. The 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that. So below average heights, low pressure on Greenland, Iceland, high pressure in the Atlantic through the Azores. I'm probably just bringing in like a westerly flow really across the Atlantic into western parts of Europe. The temperature anomaly is uh, recovering though, going above average. Not greatly, but around a degree or so above average there, closing days of September. And the precipitation anomaly still a little bit on the mixed side. It's a weaker signal actually, as so though it's week two, the precipitation signal is weakening. But if anything, probably still a little bit on the uh, wetter side, to be honest. Week three will be the third through to the 10th of October. Uh, so the first full week of October with low pressure to our north and bringing wind from uh, off the Atlantic as well. The 500 millibar. Height anomaly looks like that with below average heights around Iceland and high and above average heights, high pressure from the Azores in Spain. And again, that gives us a flat sort of westerly flow coming in from off the Atlantic. It's rather zonal there for the first full week of October. Temperature, temperatures are warmer though. Temperature, temperature anomaly is back above average uh, to around one to three degrees above normal. And the precipitation anomaly, it's, it's a weak signal, it's, precipitation signal is very weak uh, on this update, as early as week two. By week three, there's barely a signal here, but it does, does still look a little bit wet in the northern half of the country. Week four will be the 10th to the 17th of October, and uh, it looks quite mysterious, so let's just add in uh, a couple of question marks. The week four 500 millibar height anomaly Looks like he's trying to build up some high pressure over Scandinavia, actually. So that would be having a go at getting the wind into um, the east. The temperature anomaly is a bit above average, but it's come down, actually. So it's uh, only like uh, average to slightly above in most pale salmon colours. And the precipitation anomaly, there's no real signal by now. So uh, again, let's just add in the question mark. Week 5 will be the 17th to the 24th of October. Again, we see very, very weak signals here. Some higher pressure perhaps towards Newfoundland and across the far north of Scandinavia, but otherwise not much to work with. 500 millibar heights look like that. So there's a ridge through the Atlantic going northwards towards Southern Green and Newfoundland and also some high pressure 
across Northwest Russia. In between, you would probably, in between the two ridges, you would probably expect a trough. There's got to be some low pressure somewhere. So in between those two ridges, you would probably expect a trough and a dip in the jet stream. But that's just my sort of speculation about what the upshot of that would be. Temperature anomalies are weakening further to about average to ever so slightly above, but really average temperature anomalies. And the precipitation anomaly Get very weak soon, possibly hints of being ever so slightly wetter uh, in that week. But uh, once more, that is a really, really weak signal. And then lastly, we've got week six, will be the week six, which will be the 24th uh, to the 31st of October, up to Halloween. And that's how it looks, with lower pressure perhaps covering uh, central and also western parts of Europe. If the jet stream going southwards there I want let's have a look at the 500 millibar heights anomaly so um raising the heights north raising the heights around Greenland northern blocking which uh, will probably set up a trough through here uh, and then we've got this ridge in the southeastern part of Europe so jet stream with that probably will do something a bit like that could be getting cooler there as we come to the end of October Actually, the model is going for above average temperatures. So it's slightly above average temperature anomalies there, not just the UK, but through most parts of Europe. And the precipitation anomaly is looking somewhat wet. I'm not sure how the precipitation anomaly, uh, but the average temperature anomaly, I should say, is, uh, is is that high, really, with with this pattern. Uh, so it's wetter than average. It's weak still, but wetter than average through the UK. Uh, also down here. And over here and over here, and you see where it's drier than average up here. Um, so that's kind of like high pressure within the North Atlantic. So we got, do you think we've got higher pressure through through there and and up to there, and then we've got lower pressure through here and through here and through here. Then uh, the jet stream will be doing something uh, a little bit like that. That's where the trough will be. Uh, of course, it's. We know there's another ridge over there, so that will bring the warmth up into the east and south east of Europe. And you would have thought that would bring like northeasterly type winds into western and northern Europe. Anyway, as it's six weeks away, which would be cool, but as it's six weeks away, it really isn't worth worrying about. Right, so uh, we don't have just a snapshot of what the model is showing. Any forecast beyond five, seven days comes with large pitches of salt and health warnings uh, attached. So, you know, it could look completely different when we look at the model again on Tuesday, which will be for the wider European outlook. We're going to be back later on. Thank you so much for your ECMWF.int for supplying the chart, by the way. We're going to be back later on with weekend forecast and also a 10 to 14 day video update. So come back for that then. But for this week's EC42 day, look ahead for the UK and for Ireland. That's all for now, and thank you so much for watching.